Well, hello all YouTubers out there. Another day in the shop, and the next stick that I'm going to be working on is this one. This was in a mixture of blackberry and pokeberry, and it's an old uh, uh, friend of mine. He's passed on now, but I enjoyed talking to him. Uh, uh, many hours spent with him as he whittled and worked his wood, and he, he made a lot of sticks. He taught me a lot of things, and one of them was to make different colors with uh, using the natural berries that's in your area. See, this was made out of a, a walnut uh, uh, shells, actually, and, and uh, that's how I got this brown color for the middle. And uh, this was blueberry. Uh, there was a tin of blue in there. And that'll go all the way down the stick, down to here, and it ends up with the red berries again. But I'm going to polish this all down, and then I have a surprise uh, ornament that I'm going to put on top of it that, that I think everyone will like. And uh, I'm going to come back and show you what it all looks like after I get it all sanded. And then I'm going to have to put the second coat of epoxy on and uh, I'll, we'll be back when I get ready to do that. And that will be just around the corner. Get all the leather out we can. Do this 50-50 mixture. Now if I have just a small amount of this, I'll just put it right in that other cup and then I'll, I'll do my stirring. <clears throat> Instead of using the power Twirler, I'll use my old-fashioned ice cream stick here. Now, I've already went over this stick really good with uh, with an alcohol rub, which got all the dust off of it. And you still have about the same coloration. You have the black walnut stain right here in the middle. It's natural walnut stain. And the blueberry, uh, pokeberry, Staying on the end, uh, upper end and lower end, and we're going to see how shiny it gets here real quick. And uh, I'll just pour this mixture, as you can see here, right out of my hand, and uh, commence to rubbing it on. And I'm not going to rub too much this time, and maybe, just maybe, that will be better. Who knows? But I think we just get it covered all the way around is all you need and you really don't have to uh, I'd say get that rubbed down there and put a little bit more in my glove here and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good and just don't rub it too much. Just, I think the other one I, I did uh, recall, I rubbed it quite a bit. And I get the tip covered, or the bottom tip covered real well. But I just kept going over that. But you wanna see that it's covered all the way up and down. Take it back there and let it dry and do its thing. Don't keep going over it. Well, we're back. The all-natural berry stick is dry this morning. Look at that finish. Now we're gonna embellish it today with this iridescent crystal ball. And we'll see what it looks like very soon on the end of this stick. First of all, I'm gonna drill me a pilot hole in the end of this stick. There's a close estimate to the, about the middle and uh, don't have to measure it, just eyeball it and get it pretty close. And then this crystal ball, we'll guess again at it and get it about middle. And go right on down. 
And since this is not clear, we don't have to worry about it showing up. So we'll drill that pilot hole. And then I'm gonna, good idea to always get yourself a, a pilot hole for these. Then I'm gonna drill the rest of the way out here. I can hold it. That's good enough. And then right here, we're gonna get, drill that right on in there. Get my hand back out of the way. And then we'll, we'll drill that. Okay, got that. Now we'll get a half or a quarter inch dowel pin that's long enough that we'll place it in there and epox it in and stick it right on there. Okay, we got the holes drilled. I got the dowel pin ready. What I do first is, is put some uh, thick CA right in this. Let's get this down. Here, where it won't run back out, I'll put some thick CA right in that hole and uh, kind of round on the top, like, like that. And uh, then I'll take some thick CA, put it in this hole. Put some uh, accelerator on one end here. Stick that in the. Stick it right down in the. Right down in the crystal. Now, I'll put some more accelerator around on the bottom of the crystal, and that makes. Hold that down just a minute. That'll be glued secure right to the top there. Now, what we'll do, as you've seen in, uh, or as you could see in a previous video, I'll have a link to that up there somewhere or down there somewhere, and uh, of how I make this paracord nest that goes on the top of it here. And I'm gonna use, since this is a red berry, uh, this has a red berry top on it, and uh, this has a, I don't know if we can see it. I'm gonna get the lights better here after a while, and we can see that has a iridescent pink color inside the that's deep inside that crystal. And uh, anyway, we'll get a better look at that. That that now, we'll lay this down. And I always use some kind of an old rag to, to keep, keep from scratching this uh, beautiful stick here. That is, now, now I'll get the thick out again, and I'm going to fill up around the edge of this. Let it run down in there. And uh, it's, it's going down in that, filling the void all the way around. I'll leave a link below and also hopefully I can get it up above that shows the link to the video on how that I'm gonna do this sparrow paracord wrap on this part of the, for the grip. I've made two videos, one with the sparrow wrap, showing the paracord the, the easy way, and also how to do a uh, wrap, uh, make a paracord nest for your uh, embellishments. So let's get that done and then I'll be right back. The red berry stick has arrived, and here it is. 
You see, I have a spiral paracord wrap on the handle with the slip cord here. But you can get your wrist in. It's at a comfortable height. And it has a red paracord nest, which, like I said before, go to the link below and you'll find another video how to do this uh, paracord nest. And also, I have another video on how to do this paracord spiral that you see here that goes all the way up. This was made out of blueberries. It has a blue cast to it, as you can see. And we went back to the red berries, which was, which was um, uh, raspberry and pokeberry. And it gave you a nice red stain that penetrates very well. And overall, it has a two uh, coats of epoxy resin to give it that slick, very shiny sheen. And... Uh, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, for right now, all I can say is, I'll see you in the next video.